Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC. Welcome to a cutscene. A frigid wind blew through the dim and drafty corridors of Castle Black. I feel like there's a joke that could be made here. Bowser, Peach, and even brave Luigi were temporarily gone. Mario was the only hero left. It was up to Mario to stop the Dark Prophecy. Every world hung in the ballot. What thrilling conclusion awaited our hero and the everything? Mario ran to the Count's inner sanctum, his mustache fluttering in the breeze. It's not as good as my stash, you bastard! So welcome to Chapter 8-4. Joining me in this is J.K. Lantern. What? Luigi has the best stash. This is canon. <laughs> Layla M. Did you just say Waluigi has the best stash? I almost did. Luigi has the best stash. And Surat. One Luigi has the best stash. <laughs> so it's just us left now, isn't it? Reminds me of the time where we first met. Are we about to have a flashback right now? I'm oh my god, we're having a flashback right now. I'm having one right now. Why do you think I'm talking in only ellipses? I I I I, I piece that together pretty quickly, actually. <laughs> I mean, you always think of that, where somebody's clearly having a flashback and the other person's just sitting there like, why are they just staring off into nothing? <laughs> you should see the Scrubs jokes about that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mario. I promised you that I would help you find your friends. And now, all of them are gone forever. No, no. More like five minutes or so, we'll be fine. It's fine. I'm super duper dead. What? You're saying no, you're not. still alive? Yes, it's, they're very obviously fine. This is a Mario game. They're not going to kill off the Mario cast. My god. I need to play more Mario games. Yes, you do. They're, they're fantastic. I'm going to believe in him most of all. Him? Do you mean... The one true pudding? Or do you mean him? <laughs> Hello, Powerpuff Girls! Oh, no! <laughs> no! You are so weird! And gave me so much crap to deal with! Actually, not really. I didn't have emotions as a kid. But still! You're literally the devil! I got a butt! You got a butt. Kn knew a guy in real life who reminded me of him from the Powerpuff Girls. Went, went to college with him. For a while, he had access to nuclear missiles. This deeply worried me. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, I, I remember when a friend of mine was telling me about that, because I hadn't seen him or talked to him in several years. They're like, do you know he has access to the nuclear missiles? And I'm like, oh no! Who was in charge of vetting that decision? Because they did not do their job! <laughs> Give me that little Nash! I got romaine lettuce. That is literally a piece of romaine lettuce. <laughs> you... I you, uh, broke a cactus to get it. Oh my god. Yeah. I remember in the Powerpuff Girls anime, him was the main villain. And there was another villain who I thought was him, but wasn't. They were an original character, and their name was Gigi the Great, and he was like a hairstylist who was like super full of himself, and everyone hated him. And then he got hit by a black Z-Ray, which is a thing that turns you evil, and he became this super villain that hypnotized people into liking his hairstyles, which were absolutely awful. <laughs> it was a weird show. Oh, wait. And I think he came back twice. <laughs> Let me light the way. Do you remember that I can do this? Because I can do this. <laughs> and it sucks. <laughs> yeah, just about every section of this entire area, this entire chapter is going to be maze. 
At least tell me there are more save points in this part. Don't jinx it. <laughs> you say that and there's none. <laughs> uh, oopsie. I apologize in advance. I'd like to Jeffers. apologize to everybody in advance for this! Huh? Jefferson has safe points, Burr has none. <laughs> well, I'll be dead. Well, I'll be dead. You just died for the millionth time. I'm sorry, you don't need to hear that right now. What happened? Where Where the hell do we go? No, okay, yeah, there the hell do we go. Where the fuck do I go? I want a giant blue ball! Yeah, but we're not trying to go home right now. <laughs> oh god, where is home? Oh god. Be That's because I loved home. these sections so much in Super Mario Brothers 1. Doo 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 doo. Doo 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 doo. Wow. What sort of pants does Mario wear? I think those are overalls, aren't they? Denim, denim, denim. Oh. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, 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 denim. I was just thinking that. I don't even remember the setup. Uh, what, what did the Pink Panther say when he stepped on an ant? Oh, Hatred. Okay, where the hell is this key? <laughs> where are you? I know Mr. one place key? you're going to need to flip and find a pipe. Ah. Uh. Well, it's good to know that doesn't crush you right away. Oh wait, should just do this. Okay, I'm gonna die. Bye. Oh no, he's dead. I leave my entire video game collection to Lantern. I can still hear her voice. <laughs> I am not dead yet. I can dance and I can sing. I am not dead yet. I can do the Highland claim with. Super. Is Mary touched the curse? Yes. Up oh, there it is. Get down the pipe. <laughs> well, now he's dead. You bonked him on the head. Well, now he's dead. Uh, what else is to be said? Am I gonna have to slim it up? You're gonna have to shrink it up. Because you're not oh. yet dead. I forgot this was a character that existed. We have become Ant-Man. I forget about all of these pixels except for Boomer. Well, Boomer's the only one that matters. He is. <laughs> he is the boy, and we love him. I found the key. This really was a bummer. Why the heck is this here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I should rewatch Ant-Man. I thought you were going to go with, I'm just a freaking plumber. I'm just a friggin' plumber. No, you're sexy. Hey! He's a sexy plumber! I know better than to Google that. I was about to Google that out of curiosity. <laughs> That's no, the there's no reason you should Google that, like, ever. Yeah. You wanna clean my Lampin. pipes? <laughs> no! <laughs> I am eight! <laughs> Now, if I'm not mistaken, there are the giant enemies with, like, over a hundred hit points in here. Uh-huh. A lot of experience, but, yeah, there they are. A lot of experience, but, uh, not worth fighting without, like, Bowser's flame or something to yeah. make it... Dinosaurs. It's an only font! Ha! Ah! That one was scary. Elephants! Elephants! 
Uh, I, I should send Surat that LP because of the people in this call. He'd be the one who'd appreciate it. Which LP? Uh, it's a screenshot LP. Um, Medieval Total War II, a Scotsman in Egypt. Uh. Oh, it's one of the best narrative LPs ever made. It's also really friggin' long. Narrative LP? So, uh, y'all are mostly familiar with LPs as a video format, but screenshot LPs are a thing where people take screenshots of the game and then... That's how they started, really. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And, um... The, uh, the Scotsman in Egypt LP is epic. See the okay. door over there? Ah, 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 door. I don't know if that's the one you need to enter, but this is how you're going to get through this section. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of a maze, and it's kind of obnoxious. Why is it? I don't remember exactly which one you need to enter, but you need to enter one of them. Bonk. <laughs> Keep that song stuck in my head now. Spam a lot. There are worse things. Clearly, you need other songs stuck in your head. You're getting pretty decent points from jumping on those shells. Um, oh my word, this tune is annoying. Yes, I know, it's really annoying. I can't get this song out of my head. But is it the song that gets on everybody's nerves? This is the song that gets on everybody's nerves! <laughs> diggy diggy hole. I got a shooting star. Take me down to the paradise city where the girls are fat and they have big titties! Oh, won't you please take me home? No, not something I was expecting to come out in his mouth. I'm used to it's this. The, <laughs> it's the original <laughs> lyrics to that song. Yeah, considering that's what I used to hear originally, very long time ago. What song is that? Uh, Paradise, Paradise City, City. By, by Guns N' Roses, except the, uh, it got rewritten. <laughs> what was it rewritten into? Take, Take me down, down to Paradise. Paradise City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Yeah. And that was the radio version. Yeah, when um when they were originally writing it, like Slash's contribution to the lyrics was "Take me down to the Paradise City where the girls are fat and they have big titties." I can only imagine them all like staring at him in awe. I, I mean, they all did a lot. Drugs. Yeah. I mean, that's that sounds about right. That's typical of bands. Yep. E e even for bands, they did a lot of drugs. I don't think they were quite on the same level as Metallica with the drug use, but you know. Mm. What about Keith Richards? Nobody was on that level. Exactly. <laughs> Who is Keith Richards again? It sounds like a country artist. Uh, he's from the he, Rolling he, Stones. Yeah, he was... He the was... rhythm guitarist for the Stones. Also, if you watch the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, he was Jack Sparrow's dad. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, yeah. uh, th there's a great joke in Wayne's World, um, Wayne's World 2, that's which one it is, about how he can't get killed by conventional weapons. Uh-uh. Probably not. He is old. Not only is he old, he is... I'm pretty sure he was made immortal, except for old age at some point. Mick Jagger is actually older than he is. Yeah. yeah. But like I said, I'm pretty sure the only thing that can kill him is old age. I got them. Oh, so like Lancer? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the universe doubles down on trying to kill me, and it just doesn't work. <laughs> You're immortal. You're a god. You're basically a god. I need to do that speech from, um, or rather that scene from friggin' Groundhog's Day, because that scene's amazing. What scene? 
Have you seen Groundhog's Day? No. I remember there was one scene where Bill Murray jumped off a balcony. There are several scenes where things like that happen, but, um... I know. There, There's a scene where he's talking to uh, Andy McDowell's character after the manyth time going through the loop. And he's basically ta he's basically telling her, like, what his he's gone through, and pretty much he's desperate for her to believe him. Um, but the scene is just amazing, because there's a surprising... There's an amazing amount of emotion, but it's understated, and it works beautifully. Hearing about Groundhog Day when I was in that phase where I hated Bill Murray. I vaguely remember that scene, though. Yay, I made it to a safe Finally place. through the maze! Let's end this bitch!